<laughs> we were supposed to win. <laughs> Why? Oh, hi, friends. <laughs> Look, let's have a serious conversation for just a, just a minute. Um, a lot of people today seem to be wondering <laughs> how those Mormons are uh, coping with our uh, crushing defeat from yesterday. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what people are talking about, but it seems to me that when it comes to victories and defeats, well, uh, we still have, uh, salvation, we have the priesthood, we have the prophets, um, who is really the president, um, and so I'm not really sure where this is all coming from. Um, now, I would really appreciate it if you would approach this the way our church approaches its history, and that is retell it, okay, so that it's convenient for the message that you're trying to convey at that precise moment in time. Um, look. I don't know who led you to believe, it certainly wasn't the Mormons, <laughs> relentlessly, for months and months and months, um, that this Mormon moment, <laughs> which is now dead, apparently, <laughs> not that we care, um, I don't know who led you to believe that Mormons cared about this election, like, even at all, um, but we sure didn't, okay? <laughs> and I know that if you look at what actually happened, you would be able to say, that's obviously patently not true, <laughs> but we don't look at things that way, we look at things our way, um, and so the thing of it is, is we did fast, and we did pray, and we believed genuinely that Heavenly Father would, you know, get involved and use divine intervention to, you know, sway things one way or another. Not sway, because Mormons believe that, you know, and, and today we very uh, realize that today we're all about free agency, because people can make bad choices, and yesterday is simply an example of that, okay, of people making bad choices, okay? Um, and we, of course we knew, that. We, we simply tried our best, okay? The country is falling apart! Um, Constitution... Two threads! Still. Still hanging by two threads, okay? Um, so, I don't know where all of this negativity is coming from. Um, but uh, there have been a few things said that I just want to, to, to crush right now, okay? First of all, our church is still true, okay? It is. This... <laughs> I realize that I'm coming across as a little emotional and maybe more than just a little unstable about this part. But our church is still true, okay? I told you, what did I tell you in my last video? That if we didn't win, it's because the world is anti-Mormon. And what have our prophets been telling us all along? That the world is anti-Mormon! And that's what they said, and that's what happened, and it is! What did I tell you? What did I say would happen? Exactly what happened, and it happened, and <gasps> the church is true! Isn't that amazing how that works? Because we knew, we knew. I mean, we knew he wasn't going to win. You realize that, right? I mean, like, it might have seemed like Mormons weren't sure, but of course we knew, because of course we knew that the world is so anti-Mormon that they'd never vote for us, and it might have appeared that we'd gotten caught up in this idea that maybe we would win, but it was all for show. We were doing that for evangelical Christians, because we know that they think very highly of us, and we didn't want to let them down. Not at all, okay? But this is certainly not an indication that Republicans or Mormons need to change their values. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's stupid! That's ridiculous! Why? Why? <laughs> Why would we change our values so that they would be even less consistent with what God wants, just to get votes? If we couldn't win this way! Oh my gosh! Uh, hello? This is... <gasps> this is why the Lord is hastening his work, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Hurry! We gotta get ready to go! <sighs> We don't mind, though. We don't care, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? Mitt Romney, we, I'm sure the Lord has really great things in store for him. And I think the important takeaway from this is that Mormons are so grateful for cognitive dissonance because it allows us to rationalize and explain and justify all the terrible things that happen <laughs> when all of our prayers and fasting are <laughs> completely futile. And everyone else looks at us and goes, Oh, oh my gosh! What the Mormons did didn't work! What are they gonna do? <laughs> nothing. Nothing, okay? Nothing. We're gonna keep going exactly as we're going. <laughs> Will we learn from our mistakes? No, because they're not mistakes, so you can't learn from mistakes. Are you gonna learn to do things our way? <laughs> we hope so. But we tried to do this for you, and you decided not to do it, okay? <laughs> and so I realized that President Obama won the election, and that's... it is what it is, okay? But we're gonna be just fine, okay? Utah is just fine. <laughs> it's a shame that Mia Love didn't win, but that's just because people are racist, okay? I, wait, Mormons voted for her. The devil is everywhere, okay? And he, he tricks people, not least of all people that count ballots. Now, that's it. That's really what it comes down to. Everything's gonna be okay, but you know what? Constitution, two threads, anti-Mormons, church still true! That's all you need to know, okay? And be extra nice to Mormons today. We have very thick skins, and you will find that it is very difficult to offend us, and that we are not sensitive at all when it comes to issues, especially criticisms of our faith. Um, but today, just give us the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that's it. That's all I have to say, because if I if I start thinking about this too much, I'm going to get angry, because we're supposed to win! And, uh, people say we're having a tantrum, but it's more than that! It's not fair! We were supposed to win! We did everything right! We fasted like crazy! We did everything I was supposed to do, and definitely said it would be this way, and then it wasn't! <laughs>